Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.7.1 and Eagle Dynamics F16C Viper module. Welcome to tutorial 6, Unguided Bombs. Today we're going to be demonstrating the use of Mark 82 bombs in a couple of different guises and in a couple of different modes. Uh, currently uh, implemented in the F16 is CCIP for constantly computed impact point and CCRP for constantly computed release point. Dive toss and manual modes and various other things are not yet in the sim, but they will be coming later in early access. Uh, but th these two modes are kind of the most common ones. Uh, dive toss is quite a fun extra option, uh, which is very, very similar to CCRP, with the difference being that you get symbology to show you how to pitch the aircraft's nose up at the point of launch in order to toss the bombs further. Uh, and you can use things like uh, ground clutter and whatnot to protect yourself from the target site. Effectively, like throwing bombs over hills <laughs> at your target. Of course, very, very inaccurate, but, uh, you know, keeps you safe from enemy fire. Uh, CCRP also uh, allows you to drop bombs higher and further out, although less accurate. The most accurate mode is CCIP, but it requires you to be in a dive towards the target and, of course, exposes you the most. The F-16 is... Uh, cleared to carry the Mark 82 and Mark 84 classes of unguided bomb. Uh, Mark 82 is, what on the, is what's on the aircraft right now. It's a unguided 500 pound weapon, with the Mark 84 being an unguided 2000 pound weapon. Today's loadout is six Mark 82s on the inner pylons and six Mark 82 snake eyes on the middle pylons. The snake eyes are exactly the same as the standard Mark 82, except they have a tail kit. And the tail kit uh, has fins which pop out after drop, uh, and these fins slow the bomb down. So they're high drag bombs or retarded bombs. Uh, and this allows you to drop them lower and slower and closer to the target without your own aircraft being in the blast or fragmentation pattern. Uh, normal Mark 82s, you need to make sure you're nowhere near the target when they go off, otherwise you're going to get frag damage. Um, Snake Eye is one variation of high drag. The other high drag kit available for the Mark 82 is called the Air, and the Mark 82 Air is basically the same. It's a tail kit, but it's an inflatable balut. Uh, so after being dropped, uh, gas is pumped into basically like a big bag on the back of the, the bomb. Those are even more effective, they slow down the bomb even more uh, than the snake eye, and so you're able to drop those lower and slower than the snake eye can. But we're just going to use these because functionally they're the same. Uh, and it's possible to carry bombs only on the inner and middle pylons, that's pylons 4 and 6 for inner, and pylons 3 and 7 for the middle. They can be carried singly, or as I've done here, you can install the triple ejector racks, and those can take one, two, or three bombs per pylon in the case of the Mark 82. The Mark 84s can only be carried singly because they're so much larger. So, I'm now going to get the aircraft started up and I'll show you how to configure these weapons. Okay, you join me after startup in the office, and we're going to take a little look at the setup for these weapons. So, the first thing I'm going to want to do is put the aircraft into air to ground master mode. And uh, actually, we'll leave the master arm off. It's not the same as in the Harrier, where you need the master arm on. So, let's go and focus down on the right multifunction display, and that's going to show us the stores management page, or stores management system, sorry, by default. And this is what we want to see. Um, this is very similar to you know, basically all the other uh, tutorials that I've shown you here, so I'll, I'll go over it quickly. Of course, as always, we have the ability to uh, switch between air-to-ground and gun modes. Uh, gun mode, of course, will allow us to strafe with the gun. Air-to-ground mode will allow us to select our weapons. Uh, we have the mode up here. Currently, we have CCIP or CCRP. DTOS, LAD, and manual modes are not implemented, so we only have these two as of right now. I'm going to leave this in CCIP right now. We can press inventory to check what is on the aircraft. So we can see right now on the center pylon I have a fuel tank. Inner pylons I have triple ejectors with normal Mark 82s. Uh, middle pylons I have a triple, we have triple ejectors with three Mark 82 snake eyes. Nothing on the outer pylons. Uh, and I've got some, I put some random stuff on the wingtips. There's an ACMI pod and a captive AIM-9 for training. 
let's come out of the inventory page. We now have the, the weapon type, uh, quantity, and status. So we have six Mark 82 Snake Eye selected right now, and they're showing as ready. Pressing this button flips between the normal Mark 82s and the Snake Eyes. I'm going to start with the 82s just now. Next, we have the current weapons profile. Uh, right now, the F-16 has the capability to store two profiles for employment of the weapons. Uh, I think the real aircraft can do more. Uh, and also in the real aircraft, using the data cartridge, you can pre-program your weapons profiles before you get in the aircraft and then select them here. As of right now, though, we only get two, and they're usually sort of pre-programmed in that profile 1 is also is always CCIP and profile 2 is always CCRP. We can however change these. Um, we've got whether we're dropping in singles or pairs here. We've got the impact spacing interval here and then we've got the ripple quantity or release pulses. How many bombs are we going to drop? There. We have the fusing here. It's defaulting to nose and tail. We also have options to just use the nose fuse or just use the tail fuse. With normal Mark 82, you're usually going to leave that at nose and tail. However, you can put it to just the tail, and that will give you a sort of delayed impact. Um, I don't know how well... I think it actually is simulated in the sim, but you know, pretty much always you're going to do nose and tail for redundancy, because, of course, if you only engage a single fuse and that fuse fails, the bomb will not go off. And that's, you know, that's unfortunate. <laughs> so... Um, First, I'm going to set up the Mark 82s. We're going to do two passes with the Mark 82s. First, in CCIP mode, so that's going to be my profile one. I'm going to leave it at 10 foot spacing, but I'm going to ripple off three in that pass. Uh, and when you're when you're doing it three, you can ripple them singly, so it'll just go like left, right, left, or you can do them in pairs. Uh, of course, with an odd number, you're going to get a double and then a single. We're going to leave it in singles, so we're going to drop three singly with 10 foot spacing. Uh, profile two. We're going to leave in CCRP, singly, 10 foot spacing, and again, we're going to ripple off three. So that means that we drop all six of our normal Mark 82s between these two profiles. And I'm going to now leave this in profile one. Uh, and if we change weapon, uh, sadly the profiles are not actually associated with the weapon. So when I go to the, the Snake Eye, I've got profile one already set up for a three times drop in CCIP, and in profile two gives me my CCRP. Uh, one change here for the snake eyes is that the uh, the fusing is different. So whether or not the uh, the tail unit engages is determined by the fuse. So the the tail unit is controlled by the tail fuse. There actually isn't a tail fuse in the snake eyes. They only have a nose fuse. Uh, but if the tail fuse is enabled, that means the kit is enabled. Uh, so default is nose and tail, which will be high drag. If we just engage the nose fuse, that will be low drag. And if we just engage the tail, that will be high drag. But uh, by default, you're going to leave those in nose and tail, unless, for some reason, you've brought high drag bombs and suddenly you have the, the want to use them in low drag. High drag bombs are slightly less accurate because they're going to be more subject to the wind and things like that. So again, with the snake eyes, I've got profile 1 in CCIP, profile 2 in CCRP. So in total, we're going to do four drops with these weapons today. And that concludes the setup. I will join you all back at the range where we will actually go ahead and drop these bad boys. See you there. Okay, you join me back in the cockpit. We're inbound steer point one, which is co-located with the range, currently 15 miles and displayed on this diamond here. I'm going to get set up. We're going to go air to ground master mode, master arm on. And that's confirmed on the HUD with the symbology arm we're going to take a quick look down at the SMS to make sure we're all correctly set up. Uh, I'm actually going to use Profile 2 initially with the Mark 82s so that I can demonstrate the CCRP delivery for you all. And just to confirm again, that's three single drops with 10 foot spacing and nose and tail fusing. So let's take a quick look up on the HUD. This is going to look very familiar uh, for those of you who followed my Harrier tutorials. Uh, we have right here the, the uh, steering queue. And uh, here we have the, the kind of bomb drop queue or weapons release queue that's going to drop down the line. Um, so basically all we have to do, target is designated here, it's same as our steer point. Uh, we just need to fly the flight path marker through the line and when this line drops or starts dropping, we push and hold the pickle and uh, the bombs will automatically come off. Uh, and uh, we have confirmation here that we are in CCRP mode. So let's bring us out of active pause. 
we're going to start flying towards the target. Uh, I'm at 10,000 feet right now. I'm actually going to bring the speed up a little. Uh, that will give us a better drop and allow us to drop at a slightly greater range. And it's really just a case of flying straight down the line. Uh, and you can see here that we have confirmation of when we're going to drop. So it's just about a, a minute out right now. Uh, once I've done this first uh, triple drop with the Mark 82s, I'm going to come right back around and I'm going to immediately re-attack in CCIP mode. And then you'll see what that symbology looks like. And we'll probably do that at slightly lower altitude. 50 seconds to drop, we're 10 miles out. And actually below the timer it's giving you the heading you need to fly and the nautical miles, the distance, to that particular target. So it's just lots of very small adjustments. 30 seconds. The target is now below the bottom of the HUD and so I have a line pointing in the direction of the target and a crossed out box. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. I'm going to push and hold my pickle button. You can see that the the automatic the little indicator is dropping down. It's going to intersect. Okay, bombs are away. I'm going to go into the F6 view. And let's see what these bombs do on target. Not too bad, not too bad. Now, yes, we have to keep in mind that, of course, CCRP is less accurate, and so you you are generally going to want to drop a spread of munitions there. Uh, so, there we go, that was that one. Let's switch back to Profile 1. We're now in CCIP, and you'll see, again, the symbology is very similar to what you would see in the Harrier. Uh, just to go over it very quickly, we have the bomb fall line with a pipper on the end. Note that right now we have a line uh, part way down the bomb fall line, and that's because the current position of the pipper is not accurate. The pipper is actually below the bottom of the HUD, and it's below the HUD by an amount mirrored uh, by that uh, time delay queue, it's called, the TDC, that line on the bomb fall line. So you have to actually be quite nose down for that to work. Now, much like the Harrier, we can actually... Uh, do a kind of CCIP to CCRP delivery if we push and hold while the pipper is actually below uh, the bottom of the HUD. I'm going to demonstrate that with the snake eyes after this attack. This one we're going to actually do it in a dive, just a completely normal drop. So I'm going to fly back towards the target which has helpfully been uh, mapped with smoke for us. Uh, I'm going to wait until the target is in a kind of fairly good location for me to do to do this drop or just down by the left hand side need to get a little bit closer okay i'm going to roll in on the target now there we go that's about 30 degrees down i'm going to put the pipper on the target or at least i'm going to try to pushing and holding and let's pull up and that was another ineffective hit. I didn't do such a good job of aiming that time, but the bombs came off and you saw how that worked. Something else that happened was a pull-up queue made its way up towards the uh, the flight path marker. Um, once that reaches the flight path marker, or if it's above the flight path marker, the bombs don't have time to arm. Also, you're probably in the frag pattern, to be totally honest. So now we can confirm we have zero Mark 82s. So let's press the button to switch to the snake eyes. And let's switch to Profile 2 and do another CCRP delivery. I'm going to get back up to altitude and I'm going to start to make my way around to face towards the target again. We're going to do this drop from 10,000 feet again. And then when I do my last CCIP delivery with the snake eyes, I will do it with the CCIP to CCRP mode, so you can see how that works. There we go, we're making our way back towards the target. 40 seconds out. 
still regaining altitude. And we're just about, yeah, we're pretty much on the steering line. We want to try and get that as accurate as possible when we're doing these kinds of drops. We also want to be in level flight. So I'm 20 seconds out. I'm not quite at the altitude I wanted to be, but I'm going to level out now because I want to make this as accurate as possible. Okay, pushing and holding. And the bombs have come away early. Okay, that's not what I was expecting to happen. And you can see here, the snake eyes have deployed their little fins. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's going to fall short. Um, it might be the case that I was a bit high. You actually would normally employ these quite low because they do slow down so much. So, my mistake. Yes, that, that's massively fallen short. So yeah, you're not really, I guess, expected to deploy these at 10,000 feet. <laughs> And you're also not expected to fly your F-16 into the ground. Right, let's switch back to Profile 1. We're now in CCIP mode, and we're going to use these weapons the way nature intended. Let's fly back towards the target. There's the target area. Excellent. And we're going to keep the aircraft kind of low and fast this time. And we're going to designate the target using the pipper. So I'm going to put my pipper on the diamond, even though I know it's below the bottom of the HUD, as that line shows me, the target delay queue. So pipper on the diamond, push and hold. I now have steering symbology. I level the aircraft out. I continue holding the, pip the bomb pickle. Line is coming down. Weapons are off. And I'm going to see what they do. Let's see if they make the target this time. No, they're falling massively short. Massively short. Okay, that's very interesting. So it may be the case that there's a bug with these right now, because that is not how they're supposed to work. Keep in mind that the F-16, though, is very much in early access. Uh, and so these things can and will happen. I would suggest that perhaps at the current time you want to deploy the Snake Eyes in CCIP mode in a dive, although that's really not how they're designed to be used in real life. Uh, but yeah, it seems they're a little bit buggy right now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That is how you deploy Mark 82 and Mark 82 Snake Eyes in both CCIP and CCRP modes. As always, if you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment. It's a really big help to me and the channel. Fly safe, and I'll see you all next time.